Okay, everyone. Uh, now we're going to move on to the last step in our linoleum stamp making project. We're going to actually make our prints. Okay, our prints at the very end of this are going to look something like this. Okay, so when we're all done, your prints are going to look at this. Now remember, you're going to make 10 of these. Okay, you have 10 times to get this right. Okay, but you're only going to be submitting your best three to me. So you have 10 times to get this right, guys. Okay, so first things first, let's go over your supplies. What you're going to need. Okay, you're going to need, of course, your stamps. Now, my stamp already has ink on it. Okay, uh, so, but your stamps, of course, are going to be that battleship gray color. Uh, you're going to need one of these blue trays. You're going to need one of these, these inking trays, and a little bit of ink at the top of your tray. Now, whatever ink you take, okay, you may not be able to put it back in the container. So again, only take what you need, no more than the size of a quarter. Don't be wasteful. All of your ink supplies can be found by the sink. The paper can be found in the back of the room, the same place where you found the bench hook and the carving tools. So let's get things going. Now, you wanna place your stamp inside the blue tray. You'll notice I've already done one and you see these blue marks on the outside. This would be a pain to clean up off the table. So if you clean up on the blue tray, clean up much easier. You are responsible for cleaning anything that the ink touches at any point during this process. That includes the brayer, you remember this from our lecture, the inking tray, okay, if you use one of these knives, these palette knives, and again, the tray and the stamp itself, any ink has to be washed by the end of the class. Over time, the ink gets tacky and sticky, and that will ruin your prints over time. So again, remember to wash anything the ink touches. So what we're gonna do, uh, if we wanna zoom in on the tray here, okay? You wanna dip your brayer in that little pot of ink that you have. Just dip it all along, and see kind of there along the edge. And you wanna roll it in the space below, not directly onto the ink, right? We have like a little reservoir there. You wanna roll it in the space below, back and forth, back and forth. And what you wanna listen for is that tacky sound. See if I'm really quiet. Do you hear that? Okay, that means that the ink is almost ready. Okay, now I'm ready to make my print. So I'm just gonna put the ink onto my stamp. Now, I've already done this stamp a couple times today, which means that my stamp is gonna be pretty well covered. The first stamp you do is usually not your best. It'll come out kind of patchy. And that's okay. Remember again, 10 times. That's why you have so many chances. I will be really surprised if every if anyone submits their first stamp as their best stamp. So now that I have good coverage, I'm going to take my stamp out of my tray and onto the table. Okay? We don't want to do we won't want to use our paper on this blue tray because if I made my print here, I would pick up all of this extra stuff and I don't want that. Okay, so I have a clean space on my table, clean space, clean paper. If I use my fingers, you notice my fingers have some ink on them, be sure to rub them together. Make sure you have no kind of wet ink on your fingertips. Pick up your stamp, center it on the page as best you can. Press and flip. Okay, then we want to Massage the paper, massage, give it a good massage. Use the heel of your hand to press in all the corners, all those nooks and crannies. You spend all that effort carving. We wanna make sure every little detail shows up. Now you can press with your hands. We also have these spoons. Use the back of the spoon, again, in kind of like a circular motion. Massage all the corners. Get all that detail in there. Okay, now I'm gonna check my print. A big reveal. So I'm gonna lift up my paper and check. Okay, see how that area is just a little patchy? I can, as long as I don't lift it up all the way, I can put it back down and repress those particular areas. See if I can get better coverage. 
a little bit better. I'm going to lift and voila, I have my first print. Okay, now every print you do has to have an addition. We went over this at the beginning. This lets us know what number in the series the stamp is. So this, can you zoom in down here? <clears throat> is my third stamp of the day. Three out of 10. You wanna put the title in the center and it must be in quotes. Okay, you can title it whatever you like. I've named this stamp Serenity. And this, and then, is the only work you get to sign on the front. The left goes the addition number. Okay, this is my third stamp out of 10. I'm doing 10 total. So three out of 10, title in the center in quotes, your name on the right, okay? If you ever, ever forget this process, check the bulletin board. I have several examples that use this, okay? And your first, or your first, or in my case, third stamp is finished. Okay, I'm gonna do okay. so what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be mixing these two colors together. Okay, I have a palette knife. I'm gonna use the same one I used for my blue paint earlier today. And I'm gonna start again, just like I did. I'm gonna just mix them at the top. I wanna to mix them throughout the whole area. And I'm gonna take a little bit of my darker color and mix it into my lighter. Scooping and folding, scooping and folding. Smear, 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 scoop and fold, scoop and fold scoop and fold until I may have a consistent kind of sea green color. Okay, you're welcome to make any color combination from the colors that I have provided for you. We have to use this particular kind of ink because it's much thicker than paint, right? It's kind of almost has this toothpaste-like viscosity. I don't recommend eating it though. Uh, but it'll spread more evenly on the surface of our linoleum. Okay, so we need to use just the colors I provided. I provided you with red, yellow, black, white, and blue. So whatever colors you can make from this combination. Here we go, my green is ready. So I'm gonna take scoop that up, place it in an area away from my blue so I don't mix the two. I'm gonna take a new clean brayer. Okay, and I'm gonna dip in the green, and I'm gonna dip in the blue. So you notice half, well, half green, half blue ideally. Probably dip a little bit more in that. Okay, then I'm gonna spread it out on the space provided. Notice how the colors create this ombre effect? Pretty neat, huh? Okay guys, now we're going to talk about how to wash your supplies. Remember, you have to wash everything the ink touches. This includes your stamp. Okay, now I could just hold it under the water. But is this actually cleaning it? No, it's just making a bit of a mess. It's much easier to take one of their baby sponges and scrub your stamp.
have finished washing all your supplies, at the very end of class, you want to put your stamps on the bottom of the cart. This is our drying rack, okay, found in the back of the classroom. Our wet stamp, if we put our wet stamps right up here, they would drip all over everyone's prints and that wouldn't be any good. Don't be that guy. Put your wet stamps on the bottom, your prints on the top. You can lift the racks and place them further in the back. Okay, so thank you everyone.